and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialize with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. just sit there gawping at me. Basically this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run so you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialize with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia, and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain, and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb, and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader, and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialize with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. The biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run and also Twitter at Film My Run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. <laughs> Welcome along, this is the video 5k, the Film My Run video 5k, I uh, hope you're all having a nice evening, uh, this is uh, the Zwift Run live channel on YouTube and the Film My Run channel on Facebook, hello there, how are you doing? Uh, we have about 10 people in the run today but only about 5 on video, but that's okay, uh, there's Clive, uh, we, Clive in his fantastic, what a fantastic room that is that he's built isn't it? With his Zwift door, look his yellow, his orange door and uh, his, uh, his white Zwift logo and then he's got uh, uh, blue walls with a yellow, uh, orange logo. Um, he's got, I think he's got some light, are they lights flashing there as well? He's got his big screen on the wall and a little fan there and his Myron treadmill, his bike next. To, that is awesome. What a setup. Fantastic. Uh, Peter Barlow, hello to you. He says hello. Uh, Anna, hello to you. Uh, Mackenzie Pierce, hello to you, buddy. Uh, Tina Beard, unfortunately, Tina is not on video today. She's running, but she's not on video because she's got some tech problems. Um, and they are off. Uh, so we have started. So 
straight out. Well, actually, uh, we haven't started the race yet technically because there's a little bit of a lead in. Uh, it's a 5K run. Uh, and the 5k run starts in about a couple of hundred meters so they just need to get to kind of the end of this little section of road once they turn onto the champs elysees then they will officially start the run um but um at the moment it looks like salim has gone off quite quickly with salim and gate and chasen so it's france and uh canada uh anna says wow clive amazing pain cave uh, Salim's just suddenly had a technical issue um, and he stopped running for a moment there and he's back on. So that's Salim that you can see in the bottom right corner of your screen there um, and I'll highlight him as well on Zwift. So he's he's fallen behind. Um, he did run out quite quick but uh, there is uh, Salim on uh, YouTube, on, on YouTube, on Zwift with the uh, red top uh, in game but wearing the white top on the video. Uh, and he did go out quick, but now he's uh, he's fallen back a bit. So let's go to the front, see who is actually in the lead. So Gate and Chasen from Canada is in the lead as we uh, lead off down the Champs Elysees. Um, heart rate of 137 BPM. Uh, there you can see him there with his Iron Man 70.3 T-shirt uh, uh, flag on the wall there, and his and his uh, medals hanging up as well. Um, and his bike uh, with his uh, handlebars, his. Um, Tuck position handlebars there as well. Uh, so over in Canada, looks like a nice day. Uh, very bright outside. Uh, it's just kind of uh, overcast here on the south coast of the UK. Um, uh, right, okay. Uh, Steve Mean says the Zoom audio is not working. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. I haven't connected it up. Um, I normally do connect up the Zoom audio as well as the video audio. Uh, apologies for that. So you can only hear me 30 seconds later than... Uh, than you think I can. There's Clive. Uh, Clive Finnemore is in in third place at the moment. Our second place runner is Furman, who's not on video. Uh, Furman has a heart rate of 151 at the moment. They're 400 metres in. Uh, I think that is a Czech Republic flag. I think it is. So Furman is in second. Gate and Chasen in first. And there's Clive Finnemore uh, on your screen now. Uh, 400 metres in with a heart rate of 152 uh, with his Make Humanity Great Again t-shirt on in Zwift in the game his avatar's wearing that t-shirt um, and uh, who have we flicked to there oh that's Steve Main okay so Steve Main is from Canada uh, Steve Main's down in 7th place so he's the other person that we've got on video today um, as well as Salim and uh, Sebastian Voigt uh, there are a couple of people there are well, about 4 people who aren't on video today uh, so let's just go down Sebastian Voigt from Germany he is in 4th place uh, so uh, Elsa, by the way, Elsa, my daughter, is doing the switching today. Uh, normally it's Victoria, but Victoria is having a nice easy day at the spa um, at the leisure centre, uh, having a sauna. Uh, so we've roped my daughter Elsa into doing the switching today. So she's doing a grand job so far. Uh, Sebastian with his usual green screen, um, or his big picture anyway behind him. Hello, Sebastian, uh, over in Berlin. Uh, so hello to him. He is 500 metres in with a heart rate, actually quite a high heart rate, 168. Uh, but also, have you noticed how slow um, uh, Sebastian's cadence is? He manages to run quite quickly with quite a slow cadence or a, a long stride length. Uh, so you can see him. It's a good camera angle because it's from the side. So you can see um, how slow his cadence is. 160 steps per minute for, for uh, Sebastian's cadence. So really quite slow. Um, if you compare it, let's compare it to somebody else. Who else have we got? Let's go back to Clive Finnemore and see how how much faster Clive's legs are. Um, so uh, he's got a, a steps per minute of 178, Clive Finnemore. Uh, so if Elsa get, can get to him uh, in a second, she will. Clive Finnemore. She's not paying attention. I knew, I knew, I knew it'd fall apart. <laughs> There's Clive. Right, so you can see how much quicker Clive's legs are going. Not that much quicker, actually, uh, but they're certainly quicker. Um, he's got a steps per minute of 175 now, heart rate of 155. I do look, at, I do love looking at Clive's pain cave, though. Um, and if you're worried about windows uh, and, and fresh air, um, just to the left of Clive's bike um, is a big garage door that he can open up 
uh, and it, uh, he will get lots of fresh air coming in. Uh, he's also got his fan, so that will uh, that will circulate the air as well. And Mackenzie Pierce says, hopefully for Christmas I can get set up and join you. That would be awesome, Mackenzie. Thank you. Good to see you on. Uh, there is Salim. So Salim is making his way through the field. Uh, Salim is running, uh, as you know, uh, if you watch this stream regularly. He runs uh, in. Uh, he's running on Zwift uh, in the Paris course. You can see the Eiffel Tower behind us there. But in real life, uh, Salim is also in Paris. Uh, he lives in Paris, uh, so that's quite cool. Um, and he's got a nice setup there. Lovely, uh, lovely uh, foliage behind him. Uh, nice, lots of glass, so he's got lots of um, natural light coming in um, and good camera angle as well. Uh, Salim is still getting over the fact that uh, the French were knocked out of the European Championships uh, a few days ago. Uh, but the team that beat France, Switzerland, have themselves just been knocked out uh, by Spain. Uh, so, uh, Salim, that's a little bit of comfort for you, uh, knowing that uh, Switzerland have been knocked out now. Mind you, you might have wanted Switzerland to go all the way, I don't know. Uh, Steve Main uh, from Canada. Steve is in sixth position. No heart rate for Steve Main, uh, but he's now running along the banks of the River Seine. There's an aerial view. The River Seine there on the left uh, and gardens at Tuileries. Tuileries Gardens on the right uh, and uh, the Eiffel Tower you might just be able to see behind Steve as well. Steve is wearing a blue t-shirt in uh, in real life and a yellow t-shirt in Zwift. Uh, let's just have a look at some information about Steve May, uh, if we can find him on the map. Uh, Steve is a level 21 runner. Uh, he's, he's run not far off uh, 2,000 kilometers on Zwift. Uh, one, to be exact, 1,936 kilometers on Zwift. Um, and he's yeah, level 21, so he is a regular runner, an experienced Zwift runner. Uh, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, do say hello. If you're watching on Facebook, there's lots of people chatting on Facebook. Um, right, Anna says, I've got the wrong hat on. I know, I did wear my other hat. Uh, shall I show you my other hat? Hang on. This is my, this is my ultra running hat. It's, new, well, it's, it's actually not mine, it's Victoria's, but I'm going to borrow it a lot. Uh, here we are. So let's keep that on for the rest of the show. <laughs> Do you like it? Uh, right, so that's, uh, who have we got now? That's Gaten. Uh, so let's click on Gaten Chasen. Uh, Gaten is in the lead. Uh, he's two kilometres in and he's now turned the corner. He's gone under the underpass uh, at, um, at the Louvre Museum and, and he is uh, nearly two kilometres in, running down the Rue de Rivoli back towards the Place de la Concorde, heart rate of 149 BPM. Um, Kevin DeLuca says, take it easy, Steve, for your half marathon tomorrow. Um, half marathon tomorrow? Am I doing a half marathon tomorrow? Do you know what I'm doing tomorrow? I'm doing 100K tomorrow, not a half marathon, unless you're talking to somebody else. Is it Steve Main who's doing a half marathon tomorrow? It might be Steve Main who's doing a half marathon tomorrow. Um, Gaten Chasen is now two kilometers in. Yellow T-shirt on the uh, on his Zwift avatar, and a is it a black or a dark blue T-shirt um, in real life? Uh, and there's Clive Finnemore. Clive Finnemore is in third place. J Fer uh, F V Furman is still in second uh, with a heart rate of 158. There's Furman with his Dempsey top on. Uh, he's also down the Rue de Rivoli now with the shops on the right and the Tuileries Gardens on the left. Clive Finnemore is at 1.7 kilometres currently. Third place for him. He's running at 13 kilometres an hour, so not slow. Certainly not slow, uh, but relatively comfortable at 158 BPM. Live from down there in Cornwall in the UK. Uh, right, Peter Barlow says Steve Main is going for an EB half marathon tomorrow. Uh, Steve, if you can type while you're running, where are you doing it? Peter Barlow, do you know where Steve is running? Uh, Anna says, woohoo, safari running. Um, Aaron Green says, I was going to run this morning, but slept in. Too many beers last night, excuses, excuses. Uh, Aaron, by the way, when he says this morning, Aaron is in Australia. So it is morning in Australia. It is Saturday morning over in Australia. Uh, good morning, uh, Aaron. How are you? Hope you're well. Uh, Aaron has joined us before. 
Um, we're on Sebastian now. So Sebastian Volt is uh, in fifth position, 1.8 kilometers in. He's just coming up from the underpass, heart rate of 167. So fairly um, consistent from earlier on. He was at, um, early on in the run, about 400 meters, he was at 168 BPM and he is still at 168 BPM. So hopefully he can keep that without going too high. Um, apart from maybe just at the end, if, she, if he pushes it a bit, he's just coming out from the underpass onto the Rue de Rivoli and he'll head, he'll head back towards uh, the uh, Place de la Concorde. Uh, let's go back to Gaten Chasen. Gaten Chasen is in the lead, two and a half kilometers in now. He's halfway through and rounding the Place de la Concorde with the uh, Arc de Triomphe up ahead of him. Uh, John Farrell, hello to you. Uh, Anna says, hi, Sebastian, looking good. Uh, so there's Gaten. I love Gaten's setup as well. Do you know what? Um, I often think that I'm really lucky because I, I think I have quite a nice setup. Uh, Zwift setup. But then I look at other people's setups, and you know, Clive's setup is absolutely phenomenal. Um, Gaten's setup is amazing. Um, I don't know if you remember uh, seeing Herbert Crabell. Herbert Crabell's got a fantastic setup, and there's loads of people with absolutely awesome Zwift setups. Um, and having a big screen like you can see Clive's got there um, is really cool. Uh, it just really helps you immerse yourself in the run. Uh, and in the Zwift environment. So, uh, Gaten Chasen in first, Furman in second, Clive Finneymore in third. Salim Adrian is right behind Clive. So, you know Salim at the beginning of the run, Salim had a bit of a dropout and he fell right back down the field, almost into last place. And um, unfortunately, uh, yeah, he had, to, he had to make up all this time. So he is pushing it now to try and catch people and he is now catching Clive Finneymore. So he's passed, um, uh, Steve Main and Sebastian Volt, and we've also got Castano and Radio and Tina Beard, uh, all of the all of whom are not on video, unfortunately. Tina Beard normally would be on video, but unfortunately today she's got a, a, a technical problem. Apparently, uh, Victoria, Victoria, who is now back from her evening at the uh, spa, having a nice sauna, uh, says uh, apparently uh, Salim, she reckons, looks like he's out, he's about to go out clubbing. Uh, there's Sebastian. Uh, Sebastian is in fifth position, 2.2 kilometers done, heart rate of 165. Uh, so let me just have a quick look at Castano there. So we've got Castano in seventh, no video for him and no heart rate or cadence for Castano. Come on, sort it out, Castano from Spain. And Radio as well, also from Spain, no heart rate, no cadence. Uh, but we'll let them off. No video, no heart rate, no cadence is not ideal, but it's just a bit of fun, so we don't mind. Uh, Tina Beard who we will let off because she's normally on video with us running down the Rue de Rivoli 2.2 kilometers in heart rate of 155 for uh, Tina Beard uh, so let's go back up to uh, Steve Main Steve Main from Canada uh, it's early morning no it's not early morning it's late afternoon no it's not even late afternoon hang on what time is it here eight o'clock Canada it will be around about three o'clock in the afternoon two to three o'clock in the afternoon and there he is. Oh yeah, Steve. Are you is Steve in the area where they're having a massive heat wave in Canada at the moment? Uh, Peter Barlow, right. So um, Steve Main is going for PB of two hours thirty minutes in the uh, Zwift Long Distance Runners regular Saturday run. So half marathon attempt for Steve Main tomorrow. Uh, we've just jumped to Clive Finneymore, but uh, we've still got Steve Main uh, in the Zwift screen there. Uh, yeah, half marathon attempt tomorrow for Steve. Uh, two hours, 30 minutes he's going for. So good luck, Steve, tomorrow with your run. Uh, Clive is in third place. Let's have a look at Clive's heart rate. 161. And I tell you what, let's also look at how many miles Clive has now run on Zwift. Uh, because he must be approaching... Um, six or seven... Six thousand, yeah. So, right, five thousand... 271 kilometers on Zwift now. That equates to 23 days and 12 hours. So 23 and a half days as, uh, he has spent on Zwift. That's five. Uh, level 21, of course, uh, but 5,271 kilometers on Zwift since he started. Heart rate of 161 in third place. Three kilometers in. Salim Adrian is now running with Clive, so um, no attempt to overtake. I wonder if Salim has decided that he's not going to be able to catch Gaten Chasen or V Furman. 
um, and he's just going to stick with Clive Finnemore and then race past Clive in the in the last seconds. Is that his plan? Oh, okay, right. Peter Barlow's now saying um, 1:45. Oh, right. So 2:30 p.m. Okay, right. My mistake. Uh, so Peter Barlow says 2:30 p.m. is the time of the run, and Steve Main is going for one hour 45. Uh, so uh, apologies, Steve, uh, for making you slower than you actually are. Uh, Steve, uh, Steve is going for one hour 45. So good luck to Steve tomorrow at 2:30. If you want to follow along, log into Zwift. Um, and follow on the, um, you'd, need, you'd need to join the run. I don't think it's being broadcast live anywhere. So join the run and follow along, uh, watch uh, Steve Main to see if he can beat 1.45 for a half marathon. So we're currently watching Salim. So Salim is right behind Clive um, and they have uh, 1.8 kilometers left to run. Uh, they are neck and neck. I don't know whether they're gonna race. Uh, Sebastian Volt is a minute behind. And Steve Main is right behind Sebastian. So um, you can see uh, we've just focused on Steve Main and we've got Sebastian right in front. Uh, so they're both together, they're kind of both together, they're about four seconds apart. So there might be a race on there as well. If Steve decides he wants to go for it, and he is catching, he's catching Sebastian Vogt actually. So it might be that we have two races on. We've got one between Steve Main and Sebastian Vogt. And we've got one between Salim Adrian and Clive Finnemore. So let's see what happens there. So uh, let's just jump right to the front again because 800 metres to go for Gaten Chasen. He's climbing up the hill now. So this is where you would find a Starbucks along the right hand side of the Champs Elysees. Uh, starting to climb up towards. Uh, and McCaff as well, McDonald's and McCaff are along here. Oh, me and Victoria know all the stylish places to go along the Champs Elysees, you know. Oh, yes. Every year, well, every year until the pandemic, uh, every year we go to we go to Paris to stay with uh, Victoria's brother. And, um, and I run the Paris Marathon and uh, many an hour we have spent, and sometimes Victoria runs the Paris Marathon. And uh, many a happy hour we spent wandering up and down the Champs Elysees going to McCaff and Starbucks. <laughs> so we really know how to live uh, in one of the richest streets in the world. Uh, 500 metres to go for Gaten chasing now. So Gaten is really putting on the pressure now. Um, he is going at 16.8, 16.9, nearly 17 kilometres an hour as he approaches the end. He's running at 3.34 per kilometre. Heart rate of 157 though, so still, still relatively comfortable. Relatively comfortable for uh, Gaten. 400 metres left and uh, 16 point, yeah, 16.8 kilometres an hour. Um, and this looks like it's not really hurting um, Gaten too much. He looks comfortable. If you look at his stride length, it's fairly long. Relatively slow cadence, 173. Aver well, average cadence, not slow. Average cadence. And uh, he will be finishing in a roundabout, I would have thought, 17 and 18 minutes. 18 and a half minutes. He's got 300 metres to go. Maybe 19 minutes for Gaten. Let's see how quick he can do this last 300 metres in. Uh, but I reckon he's going to finish in about 19 minutes, 18 and a half to 19 minutes. And then we'll go back and the next person we'll have a look at coming in will be Clive Finnemore. Uh, so uh, he's just hit 18 minutes there with 200 metres to go. Heart rate of 156. Staying, staying at Gaten just until he's finished. He's nearly there. Here he comes up to the line. He's going to finish in 18 and a half minutes, 18 minutes, 20 seconds, 18, 21. When's he going to hit 5K? And there's 5K at 18 and... Uh, oh, is that 17 and a half? I thought it was 18 and a half. That was 18 and a half minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, 18 and a half minutes it was, yes. But I don't know why Salim has got only 17 minutes on his clock. If you notice, Clive's on 18 minutes 40, whereas Salim is on 17 minutes 50. Maybe that's something to do with uh, Salim having a dropout. I don't know. That's a bit, that's interesting. So Salim and Clive are neck and neck. Uh, v Furman is uh, 300 metres from the finish, but we don't have any video. 
Ah, okay, Salim joined late. That's why. That's why his time is different. Okay. Uh, so Salim is in third place, Clive is in fourth, but they're actually uh, exactly the same um, position. Uh, right, Salim says he didn't have a dropout. He was just late. Okay. No worries. Right, so V. Furman is about to finish, but we don't. <laughs> he says, I'm always late. I'm French. Uh, yeah, the French is laissez-faire attitude. Doesn't matter, whatever, who cares? Uh, v. Furman is about to hit the finish. He's in second, but no video for him. So Salim and Clive have 800 metres to go. Let's just nip back. Yeah, they're both busy typing when they should be running and fighting each other for the win. Uh, so we've still got this battle on between Salim and Clive, and, but then also Sebastian Vogt and Steve Main, who are right neck and neck with each other. Uh, so there's Sebastian and there's Steve. Uh, there's Steve Main on our video as well with his blue T-shirt. Nice big screen as well for Steve and a huge fan. Can you see that huge fan right next to him blowing really cool air onto him to keep him cool, keep him relaxed as he fights to try and catch up with Sebastian Vogt? Uh, sixth against fifth now, two seconds behind Sebastian. With a kilometre to go, two seconds behind Sebastian, so we've got two races on. Steve Main against Sebastian and Salim against Clive Finnemore. Uh, Salim does like Steve Main's fan. There's Sebastian. Again, it's really noticeable, uh, Sebastian's cadence there, but he is keeping pace and he is still just ahead of Steve Main. Is he going to speed up to try and hold off Steve Main's attack? With 900 metres to go, it looks like Steve Main could... Yes, your fan, Steve. Uh, Salim likes your fan. He thinks it's cool. It's, bi it's big, that's why. Uh, Sebastian needs to speed up if he's going to hold off Steve Main because Steve Main is going to overtake him any second now. Salim and Clive are neck and neck. Is it going to be a fight? Right, Steve Main says his fan is awesome. He really likes it as well. Are we going to have a fight? Uh, yeah, Salim says, look at my poor fan. Yeah, little tiny fan on the... I can see it, yeah. <laughs> well, never m Mine is not so big either, Salim. Mine is not so big either. Uh, mine's a f Although mine is right in front of me, it blows cold air right on me. Uh, but it's not... Mine is not a big fan either. 400 metres to go. Yeah, so, yeah, right, Victoria. Victoria's your biggest fan, Salim. She says, she says, you're so cool, you don't need a fan, Salim. Uh, yeah, yeah, and Victoria is your biggest fan. Anyway, right, 300 metres to go. Clive and, and Salim are neck and neck. Is there a race going on or are they just chilling out? Is there, is, are they going to fight for this or are they just going to waltz in like it's a Sunday afternoon stroll? What's going on, boys? Are you fighting for this or are you just going to run in hand in hand? I think they're going to run in hand in hand, aren't they? Uh, just, you know, like, like friends do. Uh, we're looking at Clive at the moment. Clive doesn't look like he's bothering to make an effort. I think they're just going to waltz in together and be happy. Um, it's going to fin they're going to finish at about 22 minutes. So I don't know what that means. Lim Lemon Hainault. I don't know what that is. Salim, I'm sorry. Uh, right, 100 metres to go. Uh, they're going to finish just over... Oh, hang on a minute. Let me see what Clive's time is. 22.47. So Clive's time is 22.50, nearly 23 minutes for Clive. As they just about hit the finish line, it's going to be 23 minutes. There's 23 minutes. They haven't quite hit five kilometres. There they are. Right, so uh, 23 minutes for Clive and Salim, although Salim was late. Uh, so that's uh, third and fourth sorted. Uh, so now we want fifth and sixth. Uh, so Salim, uh, so Steve Main. Um, oh, where's Sebastian gone? Sebastian has fallen behind. So Sebastian hasn't gone for the gone for the push to to try and keep up with Steve. Right, Victoria says, pull your finger out, uh, Sebastian. Which, if you don't know what that phrase means, it means get going, get a move on. Uh, Peter Barlow says, go boys, Salim, Sonic Boom. Um, right, and Anna says, is that fan legal? It's so big. Well, it, the thing is, it probably is legal because it's a headwind, isn't it? It's blowing him back rather than forward. So I think it is legal. Uh, 
Aaron says he really likes these Zwift setups that the guys have got. Uh, John Heaton, watching better late than never. Hello, John. Uh, nice to see you with us. Uh, Darren says, Aircon coming on the 9th of July. Good stuff, that, Darren. So Darren is living in Malta, where it's very, very warm. Uh, and uh, Right, uh, Sebastian is putting the speed up. Uh, yeah, so uh, 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 Darren lives in Malta, and he's now getting air conditioning. Good for him, buddy. Um, Steve Main is going to get fifth place. Sebastian is making an effort to catch him. He's pushing it now that Victoria's told him off, uh, but I don't think he's going to get him. Uh, Steve is going to get the win uh, from Sebastian. Fifth place for Steve Main uh, in, uh, let's see, 24 and a half minutes it's going to be. Well done, Steve. Uh, Clive Finnemore says, well done, everyone. Five kilometres done for Steve Main. Well done, Steve. Uh, yeah, Victoria just wants everyone to know that she does know Sebastian. Um, it's not like she's just telling any random person off. Right, now I seem to have lost my runners. Where, what's going on here? Where's my runners? I've got, I've got Tina Beard there. Radio is not... Radio and Tina are not on video. Uh, but let's just follow Tina. She's got 200 metres to go. Uh, she's got her running channel T-shirt on. Heart rate of 167. Well done to Salim. Uh, Salim's turned his video sideways. Well done to Sebastian there. And um, wiping himself down. Game Chaser says, good job, everyone. Clive Finnemore, well done, everyone. Victoria, well done, Sebastian. Uh, Darren says, it's 42 degrees Celsius in Malta right now. So you definitely do need uh, air conditioning. Uh, good job, Darren. And uh, Tina Beard has 100 metres to go. Heart rate of 167. Uh, would be on video, but she's got technical problems. So we'll let her off today. Thanks for taking part, uh, Tina. Uh, thanks to everyone for taking part in the video 5K. And um, we're not going to be here next week, though. Uh, thank you, Salim. Right, Salim, now you look like you're wearing a, a... What does he look like now? He's going clubbing. OK, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nice one. Nice one, Salim. Good job. What's he showing us there at the side? What, what, can you read what that says? Japan? Japan? OK. Right. Tina has finished. Well done to Tina. Thank you very much, everybody, for taking part. Awesome job, everyone. Um, if there's anyone you want to show us, Victoria or uh, Elsa. Thanks, Sebastian. Well done, buddy. Uh, and thank you very much to Elsa, who has managed the stream today, by the way. So if you want to say well done to Elsa, uh, it's her first time uh, doing the stream today uh, to give Victoria a break uh, while she went and had a sauna. Uh, so well done to Elsa. Thank you very much for her work today. Uh, we may we may give her a little bit of extra pocket money this week uh, for doing that. Much appreciated. Uh, to let you know, guys, we will not be here next week. I am hope well, I'm I'm hoping that I won't be here next week because I'm hoping to get to Spain uh, to run a, a hundred miler in the Pyrenees next week. So this time next week, I will be running. I will have just started. Oh, okay, right. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed I get there. If I don't get there, then we will do the video 5K uh, next week. Uh, Clive says, uh, thanks, Elsa. Cheers, Elsa. Uh, Anna says, well done, Elsa. Okay, guys, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all the chat. Uh, to everyone who joined on video, well done. Thank you for getting that sorted. Um, and uh, for those who didn't run on video, thanks for joining us anyway. Uh, we honestly don't mind. Uh, we don't mind if you don't have your video on. It's fine. Just come and join us for the video 5K every Friday, 8.05 p.m. And we will see you, if not next week, the week after. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.